All right, folks, this is Brian here with uh, American Hobo 2. So I'm in a library today. It's decent in here. It's not hot. <clears throat> it's it's cool. They got air conditioning there, so it's pretty decent. But it's supposed to be close to about 100 today. So <clears throat> I'm currently staying at that uh, homeless shelter there, Karen Chair. And I decided today to um, go, and what I did is I... Uh, Got on TurboTax, <clears throat> filed for my, uh, I don't have anything coming. I They said I had $1,800 coming, then it was rejected. Um, I think it's because of the, the filing deadline. I should have worried about that a while back. I probably would have got it. <clears throat> so I do have a cash card. I could load, load a global cash card. I can load money on it, all that stuff. <clears throat> um, I'm just to the point now where uh, I don't know what I want to do, man. I'm just going to go ahead here. Um, you know, I'm not going to make it in this place. All it's going to be is just, just eating, laying back at the shelter, walking around, doing nothing. You know, I can't do anything. I don't have battle ID. I don't have anything. I'm just pretty much, I'm not going to worry about it. I've got a, just weeks, weeks on end, four to six weeks to wait for a birth certificate. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to waste any more time in places. I'm going to be there for a few days, panhandle every chance I get, do odd jobs. I need to save up several thousand before winter time. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't care how hard it is, <clears throat> but I will be, um, you know, getting enough cash where I'll survive here in the future. I'm eating really good. There's some, I can replenish my gear when I go. I can be sitting pretty good. It's not too bad here. Um, I'd like to try to get some uh, <clears throat> another shirt and a pair of uh, shorts. I did see some shorts in there, but they're probably too small. But anyway, you know, I'm just to the point, man, where uh, this is just getting ridiculous. This this government bureaucracy, you know, they make it like give these stimulus payments and stuff, you know. They've got my Social Security number. I didn't make hardly anything in the last filing season at all. So I don't, I don't understand it. It's just like, man, it, you go through all this, they ask you a million questions, personal information, etc. You know, it's like, you know, I'll tell you what, man, is, is this how life's supposed to be in America? I mean, there's been millions of people didn't even get it, but there's been people that have just got it, no problem, uh, two or three grand already, if not more. And uh, <clears throat> it's going to get tight. And uh, I know I ain't got that stimulus package coming. I mean, I I don't remember two or three years ago what I made. I mean, I did stuff on, off the books for so long, I didn't report it anyway. You know, and I made like legitimate income in the last couple of years, probably through labor at once, made $135 for a day's work. You know, I'm not getting on any type of aid at all. If, if I could get this stimulus package, I got direct deposit, then send it to me. But they want all this information, all these different types of information. You know something? I'm done with it. I'm not going to try to file for the stimulus package. The hell with that stimulus package. All they're going to try to do is jam you up anyway. What they do is they try to, they just keep keep you, um, their foot on your neck, this government. They, they put their foot on your neck, they keep it on your neck, and that's how they roll. And they're just going to continue to do so. Same thing day in, day out. They're just going to keep doing that. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, man, it just don't pay anymore to uh, try to... Um, just own anything and stuff. Just hit the road, dude. I'll hit the road. I did what I had to do. I can camp out at summertime. I can go to many, many places. I'm going to be just fine. I'm not going to have to worry about anything. I'm going to be just fine. I just ain't going to worry about anything. And uh, things will work out for me like they always do. They always work out for me. I'm not worried about anything. And uh, I'll be fine. So it's just, yeah. I'll tell you what, my luck don't ever hold up, man, no matter what it is. So I'm probably going to bear a lot of here after this weekend. I'm just going to chill, and then this weekend I'm gone, dude. I'm done. I'm going to leave this area. <clears throat> I'm going to take my little trip out where I need to go, go through Michigan, whatever I got to do. Then I'll end up getting back to uh, going back into Indiana, visit a few places, and then just from there, Whatever the case may be, I'm just not going to worry about it anymore. I'm done, and uh, it is what it is, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm done with it, and uh, so it is what it is. So, um, 
why worry about stuff, man? I can just travel. I can panhandle. I can do. I'm going to do everything off the books. I'm not paying. Any, I'm not paying any taxes ever again for nothing. I'm not going to get a regular paying job. Everything I'm going to do is off the books because you know something. It's not going to matter anyway in the future because everything's going to go to hell in the future anyway. Crap's going to hit the fan. This system's going to break down. Everything's just going to literally break down. Society. So. If you've got everything and all this money and bank accounts and material stuff, it ain't going to be worth a damn. So I'd rather just have the clothes on my back, my backpack and gear, camping gear, and I can go where the hell I want. Nobody's telling me anything. That's how that's going to go. You know, ain't no doing no drinking. I don't do no drugs. I'm going to just be totally sober, my chewing tobacco, and uh, do what I got to do. But it just goes to show you, though, man, a good old boy like me that's worked hard and trying to take care of himself, uh, Ain't got nothing coming. I'm, 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 there's a lot of us out there like that. So I don't have any faith at all. Zero faith in this country. And I got zero faith in this government. I could care less about the country or the, I don't care about any of it. Matter of fact, if I had a bunch of cash, I would definitely leave if I could do it. And I'd never come back here. This is the worst freaking country I've ever lived in. It's all a lie. It's all fake. And whoever sees it, I don't care if you give me thumbs down or not, this country is going to hell. It's already been going to hell. Um, and I'm just to the point now where uh, I could care less about it. Anything about it, I could care less about it. Um, I'm going to make preparations sometime down the line. I'll just go and I'll get, I can go to them little ID shops and, and get somebody that'll make me some ID and a passport in the future. Just pay cash for it and be gone. Period. So... I'm just tired of this. This is just like totally ridiculous, man. We treat our military like crap, our vets like crap, man. We don't give them nothing. We expect them to go fight all these wars, and then they come back all screwed up, and we don't want to give them nothing. So, no, this is not a country I want to be in anymore, but I'll tolerate it for now, and uh, I'll find a little obscure spot where I can go and just be have a little place to stay, be to myself, and do what I got to do. I'm, I'm very dis... dis uh, enchanted with this whole situation i mean this this new administration they got they're going to take us down a path of complete communist socialistic society it, it's happening it's gonna happen it's it's happening now but it's gonna happen full bore and we ain't seen nothing yet we think things are tough right now well wait wait till you see in the future so i just want to let you folks know man it's it no more thoughts about a stimulus package, just economic relief. I could care less about it. I'm done. I'm not spending one more minute. My economic stimulus package is my brain and my desire to survive. I can panhandle. I can work. I can do whatever I want. So I ain't worried about nothing. But in the event, sometime down the line, things will get extremely tight where no one's going to be able to afford anything. So if you're homeless and you're looking for help, you better be able to help yourself. You better have the right gear and be fortified somewhere and know how to take care of yourself. Because if you don't, you will not survive. So enough said on that. This is Brian here with uh, American Hobo 2. I'll be okay. Like I said, though, I'm not going to be sitting around doing nothing all the time, laying back in the shelter doing nothing. So that's how that goes. So I'll get back with you folks. Take it easy. It's Brian over and out.